and this is uh, Scott Susie, the limo guy, with the unbelievable access that you need. You know, we've got a really great, amazing man here today, uh, Keith Haney. You know, he's um, he's down here at, at Virginia Motorsports Park. He's brought a brand new pro mod here, and he wants to go pro nitrous, and he wants to compete. And knowing this guy, he wants to go, and he wants to be the best. So we've got a lot to talk about right now, but yesterday, you know, when you build something like this, Keith, there are going to be issues, and but you know what? In racing, you just got to pick yourself up and get going. So yesterday was testing. Today is qualifying. What happened yesterday? Well, yesterday you know, we, we 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 tested the day before in Rockingham. Mm -hmm. Had an absolute unbelievable test session. Um, so when we come out here for Thursday, I paid the test, but I was only ever going to make one hit, and that one hit was to show a number up on the board and. And, and show what we have in our in our arsenal. I guess you can call it that. And uh, so we go up last night about seven o'clock or six thirty. We get in the lanes. We're up there about seven o'clock, and they call the lanes closed at seven. So we go up there and we're all ready to go. Everything's working good. Go up there, and, um, stage the car, and I'm having to wait on a uh, turbo car. So I roll in and set both my lights and let him come in on his own time. Then I get on my training brake, and when I let go of it, it's still on the training brake. So the car never moved off the line. So Brandon Pez come over, open up the door, put his hand in there, um, popped it loose, go back, we back up, go do it again, it sticks again. So needless to say, we didn't get to do what we wanted to do. We didn't accomplish what we wanted to accomplish yesterday. Doesn't mean we're not gonna do it today. Yeah, and that's yesterday's yesterday, today's today. Um, I mean, you're 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 just an amazing guy who continues to pick himself up and to push himself forward. You know, and that's part of who you are as a person. I mean, I read your Facebook posts every day. Extremely motivational kind of guy. Uh, successful in business, successful in family, and you know what? It's going to translate through to racing. And I know you're the kind of guy that will not give up. You are determined, and you will continue to push on. So let's talk about the car. Who built that car? Larry, Larry Jeffers, uh, you know, I, I reached out to Larry uh, last November, and um, Larry Jeffers built the car. A pretty high strung guy, pretty positive guy, you know what I mean? Every day is go, 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 you know? So um, there'd be days where he'd call me, you know, two times a day and ask how the car was going, and I'd say it's going a little better than it was four hours ago. You know, he don't realize every part on it's custom hand built. You know, he thinks you can just boom, boom, boom. You know, but he's he's that kind of guy. If he tells you he's gonna do something, he does it. You know? Then, uh, of course, I called Rear Morrison and said, Rear, I need I need some power to be able to compete with these guys. But I reached out and got lucky enough to get Brandon uh, Switzer to or Switzer to uh, to tune it, uh, and and uh, Dan Carver, which works for him, and they handle Arita's team and all them and. I just, you know, we put all the new technology, I did everything that Brandon wanted to do to the car, everything that uh, uh, Larry wanted to do with the chassis, and Brandon Pez, Brandon, or Larry Jeffers built it, Brandon Pez uh, set up the whole chassis part of it, and uh, Brandon Pez is one of the best tuners uh, in Pro Extreme there is. And you talk, you talk about your uh, crew like they're a part of the family, and they are. Because they're all great. Even though I said I said in my interview once before that I wanted to I wanted to be number one, that is my goal. I do have a goal to be number one. Uh, it's going to be you know number one next year. You know Harris is number one this year. We'll give it to him. He earned it. He did absolutely outstanding. But for us, it's us to be number one. And the run that the what happened last night, I had to come back and remotivate my team because they were all disappointed and mad and this and that. I just looked at them. I said. There's nothing you can change about 30 minutes ago. Absolutely nothing. All you gotta do is move forward and look forward to today. And it took me about 15, 20 minutes because they're they're emotional about it. They know what we have. And they were just they were ready to show it. And unfortunately, it didn't work out to our advantage, but I said everything happens for a reason, guys. Remember that. So this car's got a lot of great potential. We just get it to the other end. Ditto. Okay, honey, brand spanking new car right there, first 
real lap. They, did, they said four laps of tension on the way here.